Hello there. This video will cover how to measure a product's carbon footprint using the Arbor platform. Carbon footprinting is integral to carbon management in today's sustainability landscape. However, there are often challenges for companies to easily measure the carbon footprint of their products. These calculations often take a lot of time and require extensive internal resources. Arbor's carbon management platform allows for cradle-to-gate carbon footprints of products within minutes. In this video, we'll first look at how to create a product within our platform. Then, we'll look at how to add the necessary product information to get the carbon impact. Finally, we will look at how to review the results and spot insights. To get started, you're going to click on Add Product. In the Details tab, we can provide the name of the product, select the product category, as well as provide some other optional information. In the Materials tab, we can provide each of the components their weight as well as the material composition for the larger product. Before I do that, I'm going to upgrade this product so that I have access to all the materials within the Arbor platform. So taking this first component, we'll click Add Material, click the drop down and select Cotton. And for each of the given materials, we can click the country drop down and select the country of origin for the fabric. Assuming this t-shirt had more than one component, we can click add component. And we can provide or create our own components. Add in a weight. Click add material and then add the material information for this component as well. Once each of the components have been filled out, we can click Save and Next. In the Accessories tab, we can add any of the accessories for the product. We'll click Add Accessory, click the Type drop-down, select the type of accessory we wish to add, select the variation as well as the amount. In the manufacturing tab, we can select the country of manufacture for the given product. In this case, I'll select China. If the country of manufacture is not known, global can also be selected as a worst case. In the Packaging tab, we can add any of the packaging that goes alongside this product. In the Transportation tab, we can add any of the transportation activities, beginning from raw material acquisition all the way up until the product is delivered to the customer. To do that, we'll click Add. We'll select the origin. We'll select the mode of transport as well as an exact location. If we want, we can click add stop and add as many stops in between as we wish. Once all the transportation information has been added, we can click Save and Next. And review all the product information we've just inputted. We can review the materials, accessories, manufacturing, packaging, and finally the transportation. If all of this information looks good, we can click Continue to Impact and wait for the product to finish calculating the impact. Once the calculation is done, the impact can be seen in the emissions tab. As we can see here, the emissions for this t-shirt are 7.47 kilograms of CO2e. Alongside this total carbon footprint, we can analyze the hotspot of this footprint if we click the analysis tab. 
The Analysis tab provides a hotspot of the car total carbon impact we just reviewed. So if we want to break down the 7.47, we can go into the components we just created. We can see the breakdown within each component for each of the given materials. So as we can see, polyester has the highest impact. And we can keep diving further and further into the polyester impact to figure out the hotspot of the material itself. In this case, the activity weaving has the highest impact. This lets us know that if we were to focus on, for example, using renewable energy for this process instead of non-renewable energy, we could considerably reduce the carbon footprint of this product overall. Thank you for joining us in this video as we explore the creation of a product and its carbon footprint analysis on the Arbor platform.